That's a scam. Where are we next to? Karate, the Karate Bank. Sir, I suggest that you chamber your commerce. It's hot, let's go somewhere. Yeah, where do you wanna go? 1776. 1776. Yeah, I don't wanna go to 1776, let's go. Seventeen seventy-six, the new home of ProTuring Texas. Robin is here to show you a new acquisition for ProTuring Texas. I gotta go work on the shop to get this finished for you guys. internet. I'm Robin and this is a 1966 Chevrolet C60. What does that mean? It can haul 60 ears of corn. That's original. This, you know that's original. Not stock. Oh, and let's have a look at the back. You see how hard this thing's tucked? There's no airbags here. No sir, no helper bags. This thing is static. This thing lays harder than your son's clapped out Silverado. Everything underneath this piece of art is aftermarket. We have a early 2000s GMC one ton chassis. But what's under the hood, Robin? I don't know. Oh, could it be the Lord Almighty of diesels? The 12 valve Cummins? <laughs> of diesels. Yes, that's right. We have 12 valve Cummins backed up with an automatic transmission. This thing can tow, this thing can show. All right guys, so yes, this is original paint. But sometimes, sometimes you gotta give it a little extra. Perhaps a little sauce as a friend of mine says. This paint has been given the denim treatment using a product from our good friends over at sweetpatina.com. Highly recommend you guys check them out. If you guys wanna take your all original paint car and just kinda smooth it out, make it just a little nicer, there is nothing better. So, as we've discussed, 66, C60, most of it's original. The dash is original, windows, these things, right? The steering wheel's original, but, we have added a I did it tilting steering column, aftermarket bucket seats, and the most important thing, especially in Texas, air conditioning. Oh, your truck has a bed? Can you do this? This, 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 this. So, 1966 GMC, right? So cool, guys, where'd you get this bed from? Must have pulled it off of something, you know, industrial farm equipment, right? Nope. This was a Omaha standard grain truck. This is the original bed. It has been, had a little nip tuck, a little bit wider, cause that's how we kind of like it. A little bit shorter, cause some people are into that. This really accentuates the body lines of the truck. You have from the, this body line right here, all the way to the bed, uninterrupted, fluid, motion, sweetness, steel, patina. It cannot be beat. And there is so much room. It's got dually wheels. It's got a diesel. And it's got a flatbed. Like, sure, it's a GMC and that's on brand and what's fucking badass. And that's definitely on brand. But it's slow and it hauls grain or hay or your mom, I don't even know what. 
Why do we have it? Eric tells me the plan for the C60 is to put a little air over the axle. I know, talked a little trash about airbags, I'm sorry. He wants to tow his 17,000 pound gooseneck trailer with this thing. Take it to shows, let kids roll around on it, take pictures with it. This is gonna be the tow vehicle for Pro Touring Texas going forward. We're gonna get the AC tuned up, we're gonna get the a fifth wheel hitch put on, air over axle as I mentioned, maybe some big brakes, I don't know. Air horns, cattle guard, no, I'm bullshit. So, we're gonna keep the patina, we're gonna keep it looking like it does, make it a little bit more of a party mobile because at Pro Touring Texas, we like to party. So, this is gonna be the most epic tow vehicle in the history of time. Look guys, I'm ready to take this thing home as it is. I want to do dirty, dirty things. I could, I could sell videos on the internet of what I want to do to this truck, and that's just me. Unfortunately, Eric won't allow it. He's not into that sort of thing, doesn't like to share. This will be towing the Pro Touring Texas Gooseneck two shows, starting with, good guys, end of September, Texas Motor Speedway. I cannot wait to meet you guys out there. I can't wait to see what y'all think about this truck. I don't think that it's possible that you're going to like it as much as I do, but we'll see.